Hey, what's up everyone? It's up with Alter Tech back again with a new exciting video. In today's video, as requested by many of you, I'm going to provide you guys a link to the best G cam for your OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, this is a huge disclaimer. Number one, there's no reason for you guys to install G Cam on your OnePlus 9 Pro. Well, for most of you guys, the only reason why I have G Cam installed on my OnePlus 9 Pro is because of Nightscape or Night Sight with the telephoto lens. So I'll talk about that in just a minute. But for the most part, when it comes to taking most photos and any other case, use the stock camera app. OnePlus has done a phenomenal job in providing you guys with a flagship camera software experience. Number one, it's more reliable, it's more secure. You're not installing this from some third party site. And all the features on this, you're not gonna find most of them on the G cam. And a lot of these features complement the camera hardware on your OnePlus 9 Pro. And OnePlus continues to provide some great camera updates on this device. Go ahead and just dive into this real quick. So the links for the G Cam app is gonna be available on my website. I'll post a link into the description and I have two links, one for the G Cam and one for the XML file. Go ahead, download the G Cam app, install it, and then go ahead and, and download the XML files. Now someone out there, they're just it's gonna be that one guy who doesn't watch the entire video and then he's gonna go down to the comment section and be like, bro, I don't have the configs eight folder. All right, all right, guy, go ahead, tap on files, and I want you guys to go ahead and tap on OnePlus 8, OnePlus 9 Pro. And I want you guys to tap on the Gcam app, which was automatically created once you install Gcam. And then I want you guys to go ahead and create a folder called configs eight. New folder, it has to be exactly like this, capital C, O N F I G S and the number eight, just like this over here, not like this configs with an S eight. And once you have that, go ahead, copy your XML files onto this location. Okay. So once you have that done, you have, you're ready to go open up Gcam, click on this little arrow going down, tap on that gear icon, go all the way down to where it says advanced settings right here and then scroll down to where it says XML config and then it says select XML tap on it and then tap on the XML file you want so I'm using the XML file that I am using right now okay so as you guys can see I'm using the NRG Arnova 8.1 XML file and I'm using this just for one reason because it works really good with the telephoto lens so you have your ultra wide your main sensor and it says 2x zoom, but it's actually 3.3x zoom with a telephoto lens. And how do I know that? Go ahead, cover your telephoto lens. And as you guys can see, it's using the telephoto lens. So night sight with the telephoto lens, it just does a great job. Much better than the stock camera app and much better than the iPhone 13 Pro's night mode with the tel telephoto lens. So that's the only reason to use Gcam for this phone. Maybe OnePlus might provide a nightscape mode with the telephoto lens in the far future. Because right now there's only two options, the wide and the ultra wide, which it, nightscape, it's very much underrated. It does a great job. You guys have to have some steady hands. You know, once you guys start moving around, you're going to have some blurring in your images. So you guys have to learn how to use your camera on your smartphone. Now, this is a rant I'm about to give you guys right now. Number one. This is the Sony a7 III, guys. This is a $3,000 camera setup. If I took this phone out into the wild and took photos with this camera only on auto mode, and then I did a review on it, the photography community, they would have said, like, oh, this guy is a joke. He doesn't even know what he's doing. So for smartphone photography, why does things change when it comes to reviewing smartphone cameras? I mean, it's still cameras, right? So this is what the tech community has been doing for the past couple of years. They've been reviewing AI photography, not really smartphone photography. So they'll take their brand new phone, point it at something, press the shutter button, and then compare side by side which one took the better photo. And then they'll wrongly say that this photo, this phone has the better camera or it must have the better camera because it took a better photo. That is on auto mode. Now there's so many other modes and this gives you so many options for you as a photographer, you're able to create much more better content than to say maybe some other phone, which doesn't give you pro mode and some other, you know, high resolution images and et cetera, et cetera. 
So guys, if you guys want to learn how to become better photographers, go ahead and subscribe and I'll give you guys some tips and tricks with all these phones. I'm not biased to any brand, you know, from the next project, I have to learn how to use the iPhone 13 Pro to my best of my abilities. Now, I'm not a big fan of these software processing, but that doesn't mean I can't take great images. When I saw all these reviewers claim that the iPhone 13 Pro had the best cameras, I went ahead and I bought it. And when I did side-by-side -side comparisons to the OnePlus 9 Pro, it, it just wasn't as great as I expected. Even with the Samsung Galaxy S21, you know, for landscape photography with the higher resolution sensors on Samsung and, you know, etc. The iPhone 13 Pro, I was just I just felt like it just wasn't at the best smartphone camera on the market the tech community was being a very much biased to the iphone especially for defending it for not having the best hdr and the best low light capabilities when for years and years that's all they've been talking about so you know it is what it is but i'm just here for smartphone photography some of you youtubers out there you guys have the best camera equipment you guys came up from you know great environments great families and you guys had the great upbringing and whatnot and this is me like this is all I have. Maybe this is the only thing I'm good at, taking photos, taking good photos. Um, you know, I don't have the best of anything. So for me, moving forward, all I care about is smartphone photography. I don't care about the brand. I just care about helping people get the best photos out of their smartphone cameras. Now, eventually, you know, AI photography is going to get better and better as the years goes by. And you probably don't even, you know, anyone could probably pick up a phone in the far future and have like a, a professional looking image just by pointing and shooting. But there's been other things as well as for the the software side of things in which companies are altering images, you know, providing fake artificial details to make the photo look better. But if we're going to talk about the cameras, we have to be honest. We have to be somewhat scientific about our approach. So that's just my take on this, guys. So I... Uh, you guys can hate me whatever you want. Say whatever you want. I'm just speaking facts right now. Anyways, guys, this Altertech signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Take good photos. Peace.